Hey guys, Steve from Steverville. Another episode of Food Friday. Just went through Burger King because Burger King has the American Brew House King. I haven't tried the American Brew House King yet, so I wanted to give it a try. Burger King joined together with Budweiser and uh, put a, put together like a sauce that's uh, it, it's supposed to be kind of hoppy or uh, like barley in flavor. So we're gonna give that sandwich a try today. Let's check this out. So I went through. I got a a water. Have some napkins. Gotta have my napkins. There you go. Zesty onion ring Burger King sauce. All right, what else we got in here? I got my small onion rings. And, yep, that's not an onion ring. That's a french fry. That's mine though. Let me give these onion rings a try with the, well not a try, I've eaten them many times, but Get one of them they got pretty good onion rings they're not not the greatest um sonic has pretty good onion ring kind of has that uh sort of like the onion rings you get from the fair that kind of batter but uh bird king's pretty good some people don't like the zesty the uh the zesty uh burger king sauce got like a uh, paprika and uh, maybe garlic, horseradish, something like that in it. Kind of, kind of uh, got a catchy flavor. Uh, some people don't like it. Some people just go with the with the ketchup. What do you, you do? You ever get this? Do you like this? Do you get ketchup? Leave some comments. Let me know. I like it. So, the American Brew House King two flame broil patties it has three half cut they, they get you there it's three half cut thick sliced smoked bacon with the uh, the brew house sauce and uh, American cheese you'd have to go with American cheese you're gonna call it American brew house burger you have to go with american cheese uh they got american lettuce on here too uh, and uh then they have mayo so uh, let's open this thing up get a good little look at it very messy let me get some of this uh, it also has the crispy onions forgot to mention forgot to mention the crispy onions it has on there because I, I just i was just uh Reminded of that by it laying in my wrapper. So a little crispy onions the American brew house sandwich you See the the crispies Yeah, the onion crispies the bacon it actually looks like it has a pretty good bit of bacon. That's more more than three slices of bacon. Uh, maybe they just uh, Maybe they just saw me coming through and thought they would fix me up real good so two patties I don't think I've ever had a Burger King sandwich with two patties before let's give this thing a try I'm gonna go right into where all that see all that cheese all that cheese goodness yep wiping right away get it off the side of my mouth I don't know if it was just like the, the the fact that it was so much cheese but really all I got was cheese and bacon and beef I'm not complaining about that but uh, I didn't taste the the brew house sauce that's supposed to be on it say goodness dude open his jaws up unhinged like an anaconda hmm 
Yeah. I, I got a I got a hint. Mm, I got a hint of the uh, of the sauce. It's actually called tavern sauce. I've been calling it brew house sauce this whole time. It's tavern sauce. And uh got a hint of it that time. It does have a little bit the taste of barley or hops. Um, so they uh, they did kind of put a little bit of that uh, somewhat beer flavor. It does have the that hoppy um, barley flavor, so thick cut smoked bacon. The onion crispies actually do add to the burger. It, it does give it a little more uh, uh, texture in the in the crunch, along with the bacon. That gives the texture that that bacon does. Uh, a little bit of a crisp, a little you know, a little chewy, and uh, then with the lettuce. So all together, it works. It works really well together. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and polish this off. Polish off these onion rings. right that one's polished off so the American brew house King burger pretty good burger a lot of food mmm again I've never had a Burger King sandwich with two of their uh, full-size patties and uh, that was a lot of food I'm full I'm definitely covered on that far as how is it how does it taste how you know how does it rank where does it scale again pretty good burger basically what they did to change it from a double whopper with cheese is uh add bacon and the tavern sauce and uh and then the crispy onions so all together it worked fine together it worked good together not the greatest burger i've had not the worst burger i've had either uh I kind of feel like maybe they should have left some of the mayonnaise off or just left the mayonnaise off altogether. It made it kind of hard to actually distinct the flavor of the tavern sauce. So if you get it, maybe try it uh, without the mayonnaise just so you get the, the flavor of the tavern sauce. Uh, on a scale of one to five, uh, I'll go ahead and say I'd, I'd give this burger a three. That's not a bad thing. That's above uh, average. It, it's slightly above, you know, that that mid uh, mid area from uh, one to five. So a three on this burger, uh, I think that you know suits it pretty well. So that is my view on this review of the American Brew House King Burger. So with that, I say good day. <laughs>